Okay, next thing we're going to talk about here is some applications of, for propositional functions, uh, predicates, and binding, whether it's through evaluation or universal or existential quantification. And so one of the things we can talk about here is this idea, again, applications are all the same sort of stuff. And the reason I'm talking about blackbirds is I'll kind of focus on this as a feature. And so if I would go through a problem and say things like all ravens are black. And I would have this particular problem and I ask, okay, what would be the predicate here? Um, what would be the universe of discourse? If I want to turn this into a propositional function, I could do different examples. And so let's say I wanted to say, could I make a propositional function of one variable? And so I could go through here and say, yeah, let's go ahead and say black and say of our object, say A denotes A is black. And then I could say that my universe of discourse, since we're talking about ravens, is simply ravens. And so that seems to work out. And so if I would work, work through here and say, okay, what happens for all ravens is black. And so that would tell us that all ravens are black would simply become, I could write this as in symbols uh, using a propositional function of one variable. I could go through here and say, okay, for all B, which is, now nah, let's make it for all R, for all ravens are black R, right? So I could simply say, okay, for all possible R out of my universe of discourse, which is from ravens. So for all ravens, it is true that raven, that raven that I have for the one I pulled is going to be black and it's going to be true for all of them. So this would be just simply all ravens are black. If I look at it that way. On the other hand, maybe I want to do a single proposition function of say two variables. Well, then I could say things like, well, uh, I have this R and it's comparing, so maybe it should be this, that um, color, say, A, B, and it would be A is color B, right? And so it doesn't matter. And so... And what would be my universe of discourse? Well, the universe of discourse of A is, so I don't know, so any, uh, yeah, uh, since it's in the raven position, so is all ravens. And say the universe of discourse of B is all colors. All right, so now when I have this one, I could say all ravens are black. And now we would get, okay, for all R, we would have color R black. So this is a combination of two bindings, right? I evaluated one particular color, so I'm using evaluation. I bound the second position to black but on the other hand, I have bound the first position to everything within its universe of discourse. And so this is for everything within the universe of discourse of R. Where do I know which universe of discourse it is? Because this is position of Raven, right? Because A is the position of Raven. So Ravens go into this position, colors go into this position. So A does not mean A and B does not mean B. The position is what it matters. And the position is the thing of the universe of discourse. And so now we would have this particular statement. All right, what if we wanted to go further and say somebody else says, no, how about let's have two propositional functions of one variable. And so you could, we could go through here and say, well, my, my sentence is talking about ravens and it's talking about black. And I'm telling you're probably talking about birds and colors. And uh, we could go through here and say, how about this? 
Um, how about one propositional variable is raven x denotes x is a raven. And the other one is the check to be color. And let's say black x is x is black. And say the universe of discourse for, and all right, since these aren't x's, I probably should have used a completely different variable. These are just placeholders, right? So make that a square just to do it. Universe of discourse for the Raven function is, say, all birds. And say the universe of discourse for the black function is anything that can be black, right? So that's the sort of stuff that we put in here, and that's the sort of stuff that we put in here. By the way, since birds can be black, I could also just say it's simply all birds. But that's a, that's an inner part, and so we could say, all right, wait a second. So if this guy's talking about birds, and this is anything that can be black, you know what, it would make sense to simply define my universe of discourse to also be all birds again and say, eh, let's make them both talk about the same thing. All right, so now what would I get? Well, now we would get something else. And we would go through it, and it's a little more complicated. So for all possible birds, OK, what would it mean for all ravens to be black? Well, for all birds, if it's not a raven, I don't care, <laughs> right? So. If it's not a raven, I don't care. But if it is a raven, it's necessary for it to be black. Well, that all of a sudden, say, if I tell you all ravens are black, black is necessity if it is a raven. Well, that means implication. And so that would naturally become that for all birds, if that bird is a raven, then it is necessary for that bird to also be black. And so this particular thing, in the long version of it, if I would want to go to symbols to English, the long version, if I would have, for example, for all b, raven b implies black b. In the long way, this says for all birds, because that's my universe of discourse. Why do I know it's birds? Because that's where it's going, is into that universe of discourse position. If it, which is the bird, is a raven, then it is black. On the other hand, the short version would be all ravens are black, which means the exact same thing. And we need to be able to do that. And so in terms of applications, what we need to be able to do, obviously, is can you do like both directions in this? Could I give you the symbols, and then you could go into the English? If you had the English, could you go back into the symbols? And along with this, you need to be able to discuss true, false. When is this true? And when is it false? Like, what's going on? Like, for example, if I say all ravens are black, when is that true? When I check every single raven and it's black, when is it going to be false? If I find one counterexample, if I find one raven that is not black. And so examples of that, we could kind of play around with that whole uh, using logical equivalency. So for all birds, if it's a raven, then it is black. We could kind of play around with this, right? Um, this is an implication. This implication is logically equivalent to its contrapositive. So I could say things like, for all b, if it is not black, then this is going to be logically the same as it is not a raven. So that tells us is for all birds, if I find a non-black bird, then that bird is not going to be a raven. Those are going to be logically the same thing. But if I find a black bird, I don't care. It's either going to be a raven or like a crow. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. But here, if I find a raven, it must be black. It's necessary for it to be black. If I find a non-black bird, it's necessary for it to not be a raven. These are logically the same way. 
other things that we could do. We could go and say, well, wait a second. This is logically equivalent to the disjunctive version, which means if it is not a raven or it is black. But I could take that not and factor it out, which means I could use the distributive law de Morgan's and take that negation out, and that would become raven and not black. Well, what is that saying? Well, that's saying So we could go and make the disjunctive version say, for all birds, it's not true that you can find a raven and it not be black. Well, what are you saying? For all birds, I don't find a counterexample. If I wanted to, I could take that negation outside of the universal and say it's not true, and that becomes existential. It's not true that there exists a raven and it not being black. So. Every all ravens are black is the same thing as saying there isn't a counterexample because that's exactly what that object is. There exists a bird that's a raven and it's not black. That would be a counterexample. So we can use logic and the words of these things to get down what people say. So if people say all of these things are this, that means that I don't have the first and not the second, right? that there is no counterexample that I could find. There is, for everybody, the contrapositive must also hold. And so we have different ways of going through these statements. And so what I would like you to do for the attendance is you could consider, um, let's do some variations of this. And so what would, we already did one. And then maybe consider, what would this look to, like if instead of implied, it an and? Or maybe instead of doing a universal on each of those, let's do existentials on both of those. And so for the attendance, I just want you to do one thing for next time. After you watch these videos, what I would like you to do is go back and take these four things and put them into English. Right? We already did the first ones. All ravens are black. Put, the, put them into English on each of them and try to make it as tight as you can and ask yourself, I wonder when this is true and when this is false and how does this actually work? Would these be common language examples for what people do? Right, which one is like it's not unusual for people to say all A R B. That's a normal thing to say. So two of these things are kind of normal sentences that people use. Two of these are not normal sentences that people use, but they might use them for particular reasons. So I want you to take all four, put them into English, and ask in kind of in a clean way, and ask when are they true, when are they false, and do you have you heard them before? And you know, just think about those particular things. And so that's your attendance. Is I want you to take this and and put it into English and ask when it's true and see if it's common, and just uh, you know think about them in particular. But what you hand in is just the English versions. All right, that's it.